Hello guys, so in the last video I talked about doing some upgrades and today is the day that I'm going to be doing those upgrades. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, in this bag I have a couple of subtle upgrades, They're nothing too spectacular, okay? So let's see. I have a new, or let's say a better, um, antenna connector for the LoRa chip. I will talk about this LoRa concentrator later, but I did buy also an upgraded LoRa concentrator. So this is a 1303 uh, chip. Um, it's far superior than the 1302 module. Um, but I'll talk later about why I cannot use this. And I have some, some very small uh, heat sinks. Very, very small, you know, nothing special. Um, these are also heat sinks. I want to use these on the processor, uh, but in order to do so, I'm going to need to 3D print a new case, which I will show you shortly. Uh, I have a 128 gig SD card which I would like to use in replacement of the 64 that it came with. Uh, as far as I am concerned or as far as I am aware that upgrading the memory uh, card doesn't really make any kind of difference when it comes to performance. But why not? Let's, let's give it a try. As far as I'm aware the SD card houses only blockchain information and a few other little bits and that's about it. I don't really know, I've never checked. Um, but I would also be curious to find out what is stored on the uh, SD card. I also have here a thermal pad. Uh, what I would like to do is put this thermal pad in between the LoRa concentrator and the power IC shield um, because the LoRa chip does get warm-ish, uh, hence obviously there being a, um, a heat shield on there, but um, I would like to try and, try and transfer that heat away from it as much as I can because I don't want the, car, the card to throttle. So, those are the upgrades that I have. We're going to put them together now and we're going to compare the two hotspots. So, upgraded and not upgraded. Okay guys, so what I've done is um, I removed the heat sink that was uh, covering the, the RAM module here. And with this heat sink, I can cover both of the, um, the, the RAM module and the CPU at the same time, um, which creates a bit more space so that I can put my jack for the light here. And I also fitted the heat sink that goes onto the top of the concentrator.
All right, guys, so I printed out the top for the Brown hotspot. Um, it took me a while, it took about four hours. Um, I had some issues with the, the, the legs here. Uh, they were, you know, not bonding to the, to the case properly and so they just broke off. So I fixed that, uh, sliced it together again and printed it out. So it's turned out pretty okay. There's still some stringing going on, but I can clean those areas up. But most importantly, it's taller. Um, that means then that I can put in the heat sinks that I want to put in to keep this device cool. I also created a, a small hole here for the Wi-Fi antenna and of course obviously the normal antenna on top of that as well. Uh, I added a logo here, it just says Broen, a small indentation so that the uh, the light can be glued here and uh, on the front it says Merry IoT which I thought looks pretty cool so yeah if I had a uh, transparent black PLA that would have looked very nice but I only have red so I'm going to take apart the other hotspot and put it all in here okay guys so she's in it fits really happy. I have my heat sinks in, I have my new antenna, my new case, everything fits as I want it to. So all I've got to do is plug it into the antenna and uh, let it carry on doing its job. So the next step for me now is to do some basically some performance testing between this and the original one and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes from there.